the great music, man. StarCraft, uh, like real music, people made out of the scene. Like I'm proud of those guys taking the time out of their lives to make us some nice StarCraft theme music. Oh yeah, no, the parodies are absolutely my favorite, and uh, I mean we have people like uh, ASC Praise to thank Tempo, of course. Yeah, Viva La Dirt League, uh, the Sunroom, even Husky Starcraft a few times, right? Yeah, Husky made a few songs too. That's true. All right, guys, the actual t uh, countdown has begun. Harston versus Laver a Laser on Frozen Temple. <coughs> Let's get into it. Oh man, I'm pumped. So Frozen Temple, uh, I know we've mentioned a few things about this map. Uh, it's very interesting just because of the actual, like, there's only real three attack paths that you can take. They're more or less lanes, and that's definitely going to be coming into play. Uh, Silvertone, uh, I know you're a Zerg player. Like, uh, what what would it be a good composition that you'd suggest for this map? Oh, these cakes. And oh, the in, cake. In Zerg vs. Protoss, I always say Road to Ravager in, into Hydra Lurker every time, but... Oh, the Not today. Let's get into this game. Uh, already getting these players underway. Toting, <laughs> toting cake. Because in this case, the cake's not a lie, guys. It's our green Zerg. It's not the intro time yet. Yeah. Uh, these cakes, though, I can't get over that. That's pretty awesome. I'm going to be looking at this all day. I promise you. Alrighty, now getting everything underway, spawning in the top, spawning in the top left corner everybody, it's the light pink t Protoss, it's Harstam. And Silver, uh, let's get the, or er, let's continue. All right, in the bottom right-hand corner of the map, we have our green Zerg player. He's playing for True Esports. His name is Elazer. Oh, man, looking good. Elazer with the hatch gas pool. Man, I love this decision from Zerg players. I've been doing it for years, and I'm glad to see it constantly used by better players than myself. Whenever you see that probe down at your natural, he wants to block you. You can just go to the third. You know you're going to get your third hatch pretty quickly. As long as he doesn't all in you immediately, you should be pretty fine. Um, third hatch taken for a laser. Harstum not attacking immediately, so our Zerg player should be, should be pretty safe. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And uh, we do actually have the double gas going on for Harstum. So we're... More than likely going to be seeing some add-ups here. Pretty excited about it. Yeah, man. Adept pressure is so good against Zerg. If there's no spores, tons of damage can be done. Queens do a decent job defending, but as long as that Protoss player focuses down drones, he's going to get at least four or five drones just by flying around. Oh, man. Here is the hatch. Third is down. Ling's running across the map. Going to try and get a little bit of scouting done. Going to see his opponent going. Oh man, it is 67% for Harstum, 33 for a laser. Be sure to get your votes in, everybody, for Team Star Sense. Or at well, Star Sense. Yeah, we got that one link getting taken down in the natural. Oh, it's away. Oh man, yeah, but he is, uh, Ling is in the main for Harstum, and he's just getting a little bit of scout. Gonna try and poke at that probe to anything. Stalker cleaning up a Zergling on the south side. There's an, uh, an adept that's been attacking down the, at the uh, the natural, but the third base of a laser taking down a few drones, gonna make it out. Yeah, no, adepts are pretty good at shading. Some would call them a pretty shady uh, unit, but we all know that's the Dark Templar going forward. <laughs> These cakes are just getting thrown into this hive or hatchery. Sorry, and uh, I mean they they must be feeding the queens lots of cake. Yeah, man, that, that, everyone a... loves eating cake. Let, let them eat cake, man. You know what? No, because the cake is a lie, and we shouldn't be giving it to everybody. It's okay. a lie. You're, just, not, you're a capitalist, huh? Not a socialist? I see how it is. We had the Roach Warren down. 
in the main base for the Zerg player. He's going to go ahead and skip what is seen because kind of a meta right now, which is you know Ling Bane into Roach Ravager, then back, and then uh, even further into Hydra Lurker. Um, a nice choice here. He's definitely going to have to make some early Ravagers to defend. The layer has been started. We got that. Um, it's the Adept range, or is it just power? Uh, power. Yeah, resonating glaives just makes them attack a little bit faster, and it's 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 a necessary upgrade if you want to go any sort of adapt aggression. But these lings running on forward, trying to pick off that third base, getting chased away by this mothership core adepts shading across the map. They're gonna try and get some stuff done here. Uh, roaches are gonna be coming out pretty soon, but oh man, there goes those creep tumors. Silver, I mean, this this is going to be really hard pressed. These adepts. Really, really trying to fool a laser here. and How do you think uh, Hearthstone is going to fare in this one? It totally depends on how he splits his units and how the Adepts are pushed around the map. Looks like so far he's been using them just to scout in, just to create pressure, just to not allow a laser to make anything uh, involving drones. Right now he's forcing roaches. He's forcing uh, a lack of macro. And if he chooses to just go home, I, I wouldn't blame him. Yeah, that's exactly what it looks like is happening. And... I mean, Hearthstone backing on up, just securing his third, getting everything set up. He's getting on equal footing with the Zerg opponent, and that's definitely going to be an issue for a laser, because you never, ever, ever want to see a Zerg on the equal footing as the Protoss, uh, economy-wise. Yeah, I absolutely love the choices right now for Hearthstone. Hearthstone, two pylons at that third base. Ooh. He can photon overcharge to delay for the army to get there. The robotics facility is done. We're going to see Immortals being pumped out. Right now, one at a time. Blink started. Roach yeah, is still being made, and uh, Roach Speed almost yeah, we finished up. did have an add-up getting crushed on the left side of the map. Ling's jumping on in. Roaches coming forward. Ling's also in the middle, taking down this pylon. Also attacking on the right side. All three attack paths are being taken. <laughs> These uh, Roaches are stuck. There's a sentry, single sentry, that's holding the front of the natural and doing quite a good job. Force fields all day long. Roaches trying to move on forward. Lings surrounding as much of the army as they can, but I mean, these sentries look like they're about out of energy. They're not really going to be able to do too much. And this Roach, or Ravager actually joining the army. Cake is still in the hands of these probes and sentries going down. These roaches are just way too much right now. I mean, I, <laughs> roaches are just piling on forward. It doesn't look like Harston has too much of a chance here. And GG getting called. A laser takes game one. Roach and Ravager aggression in that game. Gonna end the game. A laser taking the advantage. 1-0 in this best of seven. Amazing job. Nice uh, aggression. Really good response. Uh, to uh, how Harston was playing, what do you think about that? What do we think about Harston playing? What do you think about the entire game, my friend? How do you think Ooh. about the, the decisions made? Uh, well, I think Harston just moved really slow there. And, I mean, he had what he had, but it just wasn't enough. Laser went for almost an... It looked to me uh, to be a bit of an all-in, and, I mean, it won. It won out. It's Roach Ravager Ling, and he just kind of overran his opponent. I thought right. that was really good positioning from uh, a laser. It was great positioning. He definitely pulled out, forced out a bunch of photon overcharges before the main army got there. So he was like, all right, you're firing at my lings, you're firing at my lings, but you didn't prepare for the second wave, which was the Roach Ravager. At that point, he was attacking from two or three different angles. Um, the army from the Protoss player could not be balled up. The Immortal was not with the gateway units. A nice splitting of the units. And in the end, a laser takes it.